Hola everyone, it's your girl Santana here at the Pink Mike Podcast, the commentary podcast where we talk about lifestyle, current events, social media, and whatever the hell else that comes to mind. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is our first episode here at the Pink Mike, and we are so excited to have you. Um, today is June 28, 2023. We like to timestamp in our podcast here because you never know when you want to come back to see what was going on in the world during that time. And because this is is a current event topic we want to make sure that everybody knows where to go and and what happened um so yes this is a audio only episode today uh we like to do video and audio but bear with us the pink mic is a baby she is a newborn so we are getting that all together so we appreciate it but the fact that you clicked on this and you are listening to us uh we're very much appreciative we thank you so so much so hopefully we can get you through your work day uh, get you through the night because you're feeling bored maybe you know and you left tiktok or instagram or facebook to listen to us or maybe you're cleaning who knows but thank you so so much for tuning in we truly do appreciate it make sure that you subscribe to our podcast you can also listen to us and watch us on youtube at the pink mic uh and remember pink is p y n k because we have to be different we don't like being like everybody else um so yes so today this episode is going to be on YouTube's fave, Colleen Ballinger. And man, oh man, I've been so excited to talk about her. Um, and by the way, if you hear any little click clattering meowing in the back, that is the Mr. Grayson. He is our cat here at the Pink Mike, and he likes to be nosy and be up in the business. And maybe he will have his own take about um, Colleen Ballinger as well. He's currently meowing and telling me about himself in the background here but this hey this is real life this is what the podcast is about you guys you know sometimes that happens so if you don't know who colleen ballinger is she has been on youtube for literal years um she's also very much known as miranda sings on youtube i have watched her and was once a fan of miranda sings years ago but i did stop watching her some time ago and Mr. Grayson is here because he wants to put in his little input as well. I did stop watching Miranda Sings because she just honestly, the character got annoying and uh, there were, <laughs> her stuff was inappropriate. Now, um, truth be told, Colleen Ballinger or Miranda Sings, especially that character is very much marketed towards children. Um, so she's very popular with children and the teens and preteens, um, young adults and everybody of the like. And she has, you know, gotten a good little thing going for herself because she's actually also gotten a Netflix show out of it. And, it, you know, it's something to be said when you have these YouTubers that it's great that they've been able to carve out a career for themselves outside of YouTube. And I think that's really important um, because, you know, YouTube can't always be life. Um, and you have to diversify, you have to, you know, get a variety and think for a long term goal. And, but I have noticed that with some of these YouTubers who do venture outside of YouTube and have gotten some really big gigs like Netflix shows and Lily Singh, who had her, she was the host of the, the late show that didn't work out so well. Um, they're not very prosperous when it comes to that. So that, I think that's very interesting within itself. Um, so, yes, yeah, she's had her own Netflix show. Um, she's very well known. She has collabed with so many other YouTube celebrities. I mean, everybody knows her. But it has come out. And actually, this isn't the first time. Let me preface by saying she has been, there are allegations of grooming behavior, predatory behavior, and definitely inappropriate uh, relationship with minors. Um, and these allegations have actually firstly come out in 2020 from Adam McIntyre. If you don't know who he is, I highly encourage you to look him up on YouTube and watch his videos. He's been posting a lot lately, especially since he come back out again. But I actually remember in 2020 watching his video on Colleen Ballinger and um, him explaining his whole relationship um, that started when he was a child. Okay, so like 12, 13, 
um, and the inappropriate conversations, the inappropriate things that she has said and done to him throughout the years. And at that time, sadly, I didn't follow up with that whole thing in 2020. Um, it was just one of those things I've come across because I actually don't really watch Colleen Ballinger. I, I like, again, like I said, I haven't for years and I, I came across it, thought it was very interesting and also disgusting that Colleen Ballinger would do such a thing. And, uh, then I watched the video and I moved on. Right. So the past few weeks, Adam McIntyre has come out again, uh, because from what I understand and, and please, you know, you guys can always correct me if I'm wrong. Cody Rance. Um, I know her from Twitter, my Twitter days. I'm no longer on Twitter. Thank goodness. Um, but it's another YouTuber, um, Cody Rance. She deplatformed herself, which is like a whole other thing. Uh, she came out against Colleen Ballinger, um, AKA Miranda Sings about all of these allegations and things of the like. So then Adam McIntyre came back out and did, he's been doing very thorough videos and with his allegations and with his story, he's been backing it up, backing it up receipts. And I don't want to dive too much into a lot of what has happened and who said what there's been countless videos. All I suggest is that, especially if you're listening to this, um, on Spotify, thank you so much. I highly encourage you to go to YouTube and type in Adam McIntyre. Start there first, please listen to his story. He is a victim. He was used. He was manipulated. Listen to his story and then start watching everybody else's videos. Um, and all the evidence is there. There's so much evidence that is there. Colleen has also did a video in 2020, um, an apology video, which we, we love a good YouTube apology video. Um, honestly, it was a bunch of BS. It really was. Um, and she did not take any responsibility for it. And of course, life goes on because, you know, in social media and the internet world, even though as much as we like to cancel people, we're also very, very forgiving, unfortunately. So all of this has come out again. Again, there has been allegations, um, manipulation, definitely inappropriate conversation, grooming behavior, this, this grooming, these inappropriate conversations. Let me say this. The biggest thing that you need to know is that Colleen Ballinger is a 36 year old woman. We're the same age. She's a 36 year old woman. At the time that she was having these inappropriate conversation with minors, minors are people who are under the age of 18. She was in her late twenties, early thirties. You heard me having inappropriate conversation, inappropriate conversations, talking about sex, talking about her dating life, talking about her divorce, being very, very open inappropriately with them. Uh, actually even in 2020, there's been allegations that she had worked with her besties. That's what she likes to call them. Her, her fans, her little best friends and all that, um, to go against Adam McIntyre and bring his reputation down and slander him and all of these things. And then not even to talk about her shows that she goes on tour. Mind you, can I say this is that these allegations came out a few weeks ago and, and bear with me. It is just so much. It is a rabbit hole. She has been on tour the whole time, still working, still doing shows. She has not said a damn thing at all about these allegations. It is wild. She has been keeping silent. Sometimes silence is all you need because I'm a firm believer in picking and choose your battles, but this is a battle that you need to fight my guy. Like this, this is serious news outlets. This has been all over the news, like mainstream media. Okay. It's been all over and she has been declining to talk to mainstream outlets about this as well. She hasn't been saying nothing, but she's still been on tour. Okay. She's still been making money and also making jokes as well, um, at these shows. And then it's crazy because I've been seeing clips of, you know, of her 
at these shows and she's nervous like she's just it's very cringe it's very cringe it's crazy but she's been having this completely inappropriate thing again and I go back to say this has been a grown adult who's been having an inappropriate relationship with her fans and it's even come out that her brother has been having very inappropriate a grown man very inappropriate conversations with young with minors young minors like 13 years old 14 years old talking about the same explicit things I don't care if they are your fans or not there is no reason that a grown adult should be having any kind of private conversation with minors no reason whatsoever at all at all and the fact that she thinks and we're, oh, by the way, we're going to listen to the audio. We're going to listen to the audio of her, of her video statement that she released on YouTube. You should really watch it. It's very cringe. But the fact that she defended it and thought that it was okay is wild to me. The fact that anybody thinks it's okay. And let me also say that she's not the first YouTuber that has done this. James Charles is one that comes to mind off the top of my head. There, there are many quote unquote celebrities. I use that, use that term loosely. People that have a lot of influence that have very inappropriate conversations and relationships, especially with people who are under the age of 18 and they defend it and they think that it is okay. And us as a society have gotten so much to the point that we excuse this behavior and we say, yes, this is okay. It's the most crazy and ridiculous thing to me. She's so inappropriate. So let's move on with her timeline because I do want to get into this audio and I don't want to hold you guys up, but I just, I really wanted to just preface and give you guys some backstory on all of this. And again, if you want like details and receipts, go to YouTube, start off with Adam McIntyre, um, watch his story, um, and then go from there because there's just so much information. So finally, after so many weeks, she finally decided to put out a video statement um, against these allegations and everything else. And we're going to listen to it. I want to start playing it now because the whole purpose of this of this episode today is to play this video and to give my commentary. It's my opinion and my commentary. Um, and, you know, if you, if you guys don't like it, you can turn away. It's completely and, and totally fine. But the craziest thing, and I really want you guys to go watch the video, is that she responded with a ukulele in song form. Mind you, these are serious allegations that several people have come out with receipts backing it up about her inappropriate relationships with them, about their trauma that was done to them. You can even go and find clips of her show, the Miranda Singh show. This woman has been so inappropriate all of these years. And even her YouTube videos, she has done racist videos. She has done videos. She's very sexual. That's what I know about Colleen Ballinger. She's very sexual. Um, and the thing that's craziest to me is that she markets her content for children and for teens, and she feels it's completely okay. And what's also crazy is that these parents really think it's okay, and they take their children to her show. She also, I believe, and if you watch the videos and learn what's been going on, been using these kids for content. Adam McIntyre was, was basically working for her. And she took his, his, his ideas and everything and passed it off as her own. So, <laughs> crazy. So let's get into this audio. Like I said, I really want to play this. I want to keep it moving. Um, so this is from her YouTube channel, Colleen Vlogs. This is Colleen Ballinger's first statement. So all of these, all of these allegations have come out. Um... And I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I apologize in advance if the audio is not completely clear cut and clear. Uh, but I did the best with what I had. So let's keep it moving. And again, it is a 10 minute and 19 second video. I will be stopping intermediately because I would really like to point out some things 
in regards to this. So, and Mr. Grayson is having his thoughts as well. So, let's go ahead and get into this. Here we go. It's silence right now. She's very serious about this, by the way. Pause. I did not know that allegations of predatory behavior and grooming were toxic and gossip, by the way. I, di I didn't realize that. So already she is starting off her video saying the manipulation station. So she's already throwing out digs saying that these people are manipulative and they're manipulating everything because it's not true. So already she's throwing digs. Awesome. The rumors look like gaps and harassing for her past. Here's the thing, Colleen. You put yourself out there, boo. You put all your business out there. You have people who are not doing time gaps, by the way. They have backed up their stuff with receipts and timestamps and everything. They're, they're, not, they're not doing no gaps in between anything. Not at all. They're, they're not harassing you for your past. Here's the thing. You messed up horribly. You've done things inappropriately. And it is out there for the world to see. You put your business out there. Ain't no one harassing you. We're just calling you out. People are just calling you out as they should. In my opinion, they been should. They, they, they been should have called you out. Defiance. Defiance. So you have a team that has strongly advised you not to say anything. And you know what? They kind of write. They kind of write. At the same time, you should say something. And you thought, you really thought, she really sat there, you guys, and thought it was a great idea. Hey, let me make a statement on some very serious things. And let me sing it with a freaking ukulele. Because that sounds awesome and people are going to take me seriously. That's amazing. She really thought she was doing something with that. She really thought it was something. That is wild to me. Completely. She, she really thought it was a good idea. The audacity that she has to do this video and to be so defiant. Yeah. The facts been out there, boo. And they're not looking good. Many years ago, I used to message my fans, uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It, was it wasn't a creepy way. Please watch the YouTube videos because it was creepy. Oh my gosh. She's, she's. Mm. It's more of a loser kind of way. I want you to pay attention to every time that she says loser. She calls herself this quite a few times she is depreciation disappreciating herself if i'm even saying that correctly just trying to be besties with everybody it's kind of like um, when you go to like a family gathering you know and there's a weird aunt there who keeps coming up to you and going like hey girl what's the tea like, mm -hmm. um that was me 
So you pride yourself on being the weird, creepy aunt. And you keep, you're calling yourself loser because you, that's manipulation first off, because you want people to be like, oh no, Colleen, you're not a loser. You're working on people's emotions. That is manipulation. You want people to feel bad for you. You want to depreciate yourself because in a sense it makes you look big. Oh, I'm, I'm not, I'm just this, I'm just this. Pay attention to that. Group chats with my fans. That's weird. Yeah, you don't need to be besties with your fans. Y- you don't. You don't need to be having private conversations with them. And if you don't know, in this day and age, people be taking screenshots like crazy. Okay? Anything that you can that you say can and will be used against you <laughs> in the internet world. really boundaries people don't people don't understand that you need to have boundaries i have boundaries when it comes to the internet and social media i don't post about my personal life like that it ain't y'all business and a lot of these youtubers and influencers they need to take note of that because when it's then used against you then you have a problem with it So she just admitted what she did, guys. You do realize that she just admitted that she overshared details of her life. She's admitting that she's done these things. But she, of course, everybody else is lying and manipulating and gossiping and, and all of that. So on that note, when you, if, if you should, if you watch Adam McIntyre's video, he talks about that he has gotten evidence of recent the past few years that she's still talking like this to uh her besties her fans so just throwing that in there that's not very interesting is it so let's go on the toxic gossip train let me say this hateful accusations A person who has been traumatized, who has been used, who's been taken advantage of, them sharing their truth and their trauma is not a hateful accusation. And anyone who says such things as hateful accusation, lies, manipulation, gossip, they are invalidating the person that was hurt. Keep note of that. People are not sharing their stories for fun, Colleen. They're sharing their stories because they're tired of seeing their perpetrator, this person that used them, that manipulated them, getting away with something that they should have never gotten away with. Yeah. In all seriousness, I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Um, you know, you should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. This is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes. It's something that I will continue to try to do. What? Oh, you don't care? Oh. Thought you wanted me to take accountability. But that's not the point of your mom mentality, is it? No. See, right there, she's being sarcastic as hell. And she's being a smart ass. Um, and she's poking fun. How inappropriate is that? She's poking fun. She's being a smart ass. Um, and again, did I, did I mention, did we realize that she's singing this whole thing? This is a joke to her. This is a joke to Colleen. Because if she took this at any point, seriously, she wouldn't be singing with a freaking ukulele on YouTube. 
she wouldn't be acting like a smart ass about this whole situation. This is not serious for her. Everyone does realize this is not serious for her at all. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise while you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise. First of all, can, uh, monetize. Colleen, you've been monetizing and making money off of these children for literal years. You've been taking their ideas and using them as content. Adam McIntyre was literally like running the Miranda Sings Twitter for a while. Like, let's be for real. Let's be for, like they said, let's be fucking for real. Like, honestly. So who, who's been monetizing first? It's been you. The lies. The lies. The lies. Y'all, y'all hearing what she's doing right now, all my audio listeners, y'all hearing what she's doing right now. She's continuously to making fun of this situation. She's gaslighting us now. Oh, well, I'm sorry I'm not perfect like you. Oh, this, oh, my bony little back. No one is saying that they're perfect. We're not saying we are perfect. No one is expecting you to be perfect. That is something that you're putting on yourself, and that is gaslighting, manipulative behavior. Again, she's depreciating herself again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Say that I was 100% in the wrong. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not going to take that route. I'm admitting to lies and rumors that you made up for clout. Narcissistic behavior is when you really think that people are using you so they could get further in their life or getting clout. And that's not at all what this has been about. Maybe I should start singing. The, the, the gall that she honestly has and she thinks that she's just that deal. That she thinks that she's that deal. That people are using her for clout. I am. Can I be honest? I'm completely using Colleen Ballinger for content. I'm going to be so upset. Or I'm not upset. I am upset. But I'm going to be so upfront. I'm completely using Colleen for clout. I'm completely using her for content. Because this needs to be put out there. And it, it it's infuriating that, you know, she's been doing this for years and no one has said anything or done anything. Um, so I'm completely, I'm definitely using her for content. Absolutely. Yes. First of all, her reputation is going to go down the drain because that is all on her. Secondly, Adam McIntyre, the the first person to come out with these allegations, has even said in his video, and again, I keep pushing him out there because I want people to go and watch his story. He has even said to Colleen on social media and, and, and has just said, look, I'm willing to stop talking about this if you apologize to me privately and publicly and also apologize to his parents and he says if you just apologize to me I I won't make any more videos I won't stop talking I will stop sharing my story on this like it'll be done but she won't do that because in her mind she is right and she hasn't done that so anything that happens with her reputation you guys is purely on Colleen at this point We all make choices. This is what I say to people. We all make choices. We choose how we, we choose what we do, what we say, how we treat people. This is all on her. She's the one who started having these parasocial relationships with her fans. You knew that they were young, but yet you continued having these relationships with them. This is on you. 
this isn't on them. They're just old enough. They finally realized they had matured to a point that they realized that this was completely inappropriate and it should have never happened in the first place. And they're reeling from this trauma. And you are gaslighting these victims. That's, that's what she's doing. So no, no, no one's disintegrating your reputation. That is all on you, boo. Yeah, PG-13, she's absolutely overly sexual. She is marketed towards children. It is children's content. What she's about to say is not true. And she... <sighs> she's excusing this character. Go ahead. It says that on my website, and it's always been that way. And that's why you won't find my videos on the YouTube Kids app. Anyway... Um, yeah, I've been I've been told it, it isn't true. My responsibility to decide what was appropriate for every kid to see. So, uh, sorry I didn't do the pause. She's shirking responsibility and she's now putting it on the parents um, because there is no way that she did anything wrong and anything that happened is completely the parents' responsibility. Although that is true up to a certain extent. Um, you chose to do the overly sexual and appropriate things in your shows. You decided to have these friendships and private DMs and overly share and talk about sexual things, etc. You did this. The parents ain't got nothing to do with that. You did this. But again, it's no one's fault. It's it's not her fault, I should say. It's everyone else's. watching my YouTube videos or coming to my live shows. Now, have I made some jokes and poor taste? Yes. Have I made lots of dumb mistakes? Yes. Am I sad that there are some fans of Poopa Charity? Yes. It was my intention to manipulate? Yes. Yes, it was. Because that's what you have been doing. And that is on you. You put that out there. No one else but you. You made that choice. You continue to make those choices. She's pissed off that she got caught. She's pissed off that she is getting called out on it. That's what this is. Again, making jokes. They didn't understand I shouldn't respond to fans, and I'm not a predator, even though a lot of you think so, because five years ago I made a hard joke. So now she's minimalizing it, and when she's talking about this joke, I encourage you to go look it up on YouTube. Um, but it was it was definitely it was inappropriate, sexual. Um, the poor late girl, um, she's a young lady told her story on TikTok um, and she was traumatized behind it. But of course, Colleen is going to make a joke about it and she's going to say, she's essentially telling us because of this, this is why you're pissed off. Again, this is all a joke to her. This isn't serious for her. She's looking at us like we are the dumb ones. What is she taking accountability of? That's the thing. She's not taking accountability of anything. She has been gaslighting 
the whole time and putting responsibility on everybody else this whole time. And I also wanted to say that to anyone out there who has ever supported me in any capacity, I really, really appreciate you. Thank you. What it's worth, I never had any bad intentions. But I do feel like shit. Hmm. Again, depreciating herself. Oh, I feel this way. I feel this way, you guys. I'm so I feel this way. Poor me. Woe is me. It's just silence right now for my audio people. Hope we had some fun. People sharing their story is fun. Got it. Exactly. What do you know? Obviously not that much. A mistake. It's a mistake, you guys. It's a mistake that she has had these inappropriate relationships with her fans. It's a mistake that she has done this overly sexual content. It has been a mistake and we are harassing her for her past. Like just listening to that video, don't you just feel so bad? Don't you just feel so sorry for her? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. She needs to be held accountable. She needs to be held accountable. Now, I do have my theory. I, I do think that, you know, she has been being held accountable and will continue to do so for a while. But I do feel that compared to other people, that she will also get away with this. Uh, you know, for my people of color, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but I, I do think that she will get away with this to a certain extent, way more than other people would. And, and, and I, that's, I said what I said, I said what I said. Um, but all in all, I wanted to go over this audio with you guys. I wanted to share my thoughts. Um, this is, this situation is disgusting. Um, I felt that her statement was disgusting. I felt it was a mockery. 
uh, full of gaslighting. Um, she's more pissed that she's being held accountable and got in trouble for it and, and, and got caught. Um, this behavior that she's been doing on and off the screen has been going on for years. And it's just crazy that, you know, none of us has really said anything. And the people that have spoke up and said stuff got obliterated for it. When Adam McIntyre came out in 2020 about this, no one, they, they obliterated him. And he was 17 years old, mind you, when he came out with this information in 2020. He wasn't even 18. And they went after, after him. The Colleen fans went after him. And no one else believed him. And they thought that he was just lying for clout, you know, because, you know, Colleen Miranda Sings is, is that deal. She's that girl. Um, but now people are, are waking up and they're realizing, like, no, this hasn't been okay. She should have never been talking uh, to minors this way. Um, it, it, it is just crazy. At the end of the day, I encourage you to, to watch the videos and get all the information. Of course, I didn't go through everything in this episode. I wasn't going to. I really just wanted to get a, some, like, a little snippet, um, but also just go through this, this statement video because honestly, I've been waiting for her statement video. I've been waiting for some kind of statement ever since the, this news broke, and it's just been astonishing to me that she has chosen not to say anything this whole time. Um... But you guys, let me know your thoughts. Um, if you have any thoughts about this podcast episode or have any suggestions for future episodes, feel free to email me at thepinkmic at gmail.com. Um, again, pink is P-Y-N-K because we got to be different. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. Um, this is a crazy situation. Um, I, I do think that she should stop her touring. Um, this is too serious to ignore. And she's been doing that. And, and now when she's chosen to say something, it's not going to, it's not uh, faring well for her. Um, all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end it here again. I, I kind of wanted to keep this kind of concise and you've been rocking with me all this time. And I surely do appreciate you guys. Um, I've pretty much shared all my little points here. Um, again, follow us on Instagram and YouTube at The Pink Mike. If you have any suggestions for future podcast episodes, any questions about anything, feel free to email us at thepinkmike at gmail.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. And listen, let's, let's hold these people accountable. All right. Y'all be blessed. Have a great day. Stay safe out there. And uh, peace and blessings always. Peace.